I guess a, a somebody making a pass at you or um, you know like um, just uh, somebody asking you to go on a date like somebody courting you and I do feel it is it's interesting that um, the cards are, are showing up like this because what I'm said it sensing is um, this fire sign is external to you so it's somebody coming in you know wooing you courting you and saying all these you know things in night really nice compliments in very flowery language and you're just like really mesmerized by this person and you're kind of like trying to jump the gun but your guides are telling you no hold back a little bit because um, what you see is not all that what you get okay so be patient be patient be patient so patience is going to be required so no matter how shiny and nice and clean this person looks I do feel that don't let your passion don't let your your need to be in, in a relationship um, make you jump the gun on this okay so be very very careful I do feel that it's a positive influence it's a positive energy but it's also a very young energy which might mean that this person might not be you know as reliable and as um as as great of a long-term committed partner as you would hope for so just keep that in mind and be very careful I do sense as well that um, the cards are very very relationship oriented for this um, month I only have one pentacles card and it's a person so I'm going to draw out more cards just to see the financial aspect for you for August but I do feel it's all relationship oriented okay so the only advice here is um, for the for the entire month don't let your I guess um, your need to be in relationships or you know your need to feel wanted and needed and loved get the best of you take things extra slow because this person as you can see he's got his staff planted in the ground he's not going anywhere so you have time to um, mull it over and see what it is that you want to do and I say that because we have like um, three king well two kings one knight of different suits showing up so there are a lot of um, dating prospects for you so just you know hold off a little bit so you know be patient be patient all right what's really interesting is um, I do feel that there is a once again there is an earth sign in your presence and um, this earth sign is being overshadowed by all the um, all the other people in your life basically so this earth sign is trying to make a breakthrough but um, he or she is being blocked by all the other candidates that are vying for your attention is what I'm sensing so things are um, a little bit you know not in favor of this earth sign he or she is also showing in up in the reverse position which indicates to me that he or she this earth sign is dealing with some of his or her own issues regarding relationship partners regarding you know um, problem like personality traits um, in terms of like uh, not being able to let go of the past not being able to uh, shake off old people or even like um, not being in a right emotional frame of mind or or uh, emotional state to date so they're not ready to date just yet and I do feel that you're going to have to wait okay um, this earth sign has potential but there are a lot of like um, unfavorable cards and potentially problematic cards that are surrounding you know him or her so it might be a little bit problematic for you both to have uh, a relationship get off to the right uh, in the right footing or get off the ground in the right way okay so what I do feel is first of all this person is looking back at the past to try to fix something and I do feel that um, the effort is in vain so he or she doesn't know that and then what's coming in for this person is that there is some institutional changes so which means they might be in a relationship with somebody and they're you know going through separation divorce and things like that so this is like a very very murky ground this relationship itself it's I don't feel they're a bad person but um, it's just a little bit problematic getting into the relationship with them right now 
at the same time, they are offering you, you know, um, a relationship. But I do feel your attention is turned elsewhere. Your attention is turned towards somebody of a younger, of a more vibrant energy. Somebody who is more um, uh, talkative. Somebody who makes you feel at ease. Whereas this earth sign is kind of stagnant. So you're not really making any traction in this direction. So you're turning over there to this other, you know, shiny figure who is very, like, vibrant. And, you know, people like to be complimented. And, you know, I, I do feel like um, most people will gravitate towards the ones that um, wear their hearts in their sleeves because then you know where you stand with them. So it's just um, you're drawn to somebody else, but um, you're kind of, like, caught between two people. But you're not giving this earth sign the time of day, I feel. Like, um... His or her gestures are kind of um, going over your head, so different wavelengths here. So another energy that I have here is a water sign. So we have a King of Cups. So this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do feel this King of Cups, it can also be a she. Um, a lot of you female Aquarius might be dealing with a water sign. Um, I do feel that this gentleman is going to be older than you if you are a male Aquarius dealing with a water sign. I do feel male Aquarius are going to um, be dealing with fire signs, fire signs more than anything. But anywho, this, um, the, this water sign is going to be a little bit older and I do feel, you know, in the upright position, it's always favorable. I do feel he or she just got out of a serious relationship too and um, possibly a marriage, possibly went through a separation and something like that where at this point they're kind of like self-protective and you know they're very charming. They have a great, great personality, very caring um, and um, he or she is sitting on top of the wish card. So this is your Mr. Right here. So I do feel that this person is the one that is going to um, offer you a lot of stability. Whatever it is that you're looking for in a relationship, I do feel this person is the one that is um, going to make you happy, okay? Or at least from the get-go, you are going to feel as if the relationship itself is very uh, karmic, okay? So for this month, I do feel it is going to be really, really favorable for you. Um, I want you to be aware of this Another way that in which um, the card, the coupling of the cards can play out is traditionally in a negative aspect of the King of Cups, it is somebody who might have like an alcohol issue. And this card does indicate, it's a wish card, but very often when I do readings, like private readings, it does come out as somebody with a penchant for like over drinking, okay, over indulgence. And um, over drinking, over indulgence, if there is anything like that, Make sure that, you know, you protect yourself accordingly and you try to get the other person some help if it's somebody you're emotionally invested in. Um, it could also be, let me see. It could also be showing up not only as a relationship partner, but also like a friend who is older than you of a water sign that you might, um, that you feel might have like an alcohol issue for example and that's something that you want to you know help them with or find resource to help find resources to help them okay so what's um coming through is we have your card here a lot of you are going to be like um very very on guard i do feel in general that um, you're going to be able to shake old habits when it comes to relationship, which is that you're going to um, be very, very careful about who it is that you give your heart out to. And I do feel for Aquarius, um, you're not, it's, it's funny because um, for a typical Aquarius, I don't feel that you go after the same things or you you are interested in the same traits in your potential love partner the way the other signs do you want somebody who's a little quirky who's very like um sure of him or herself and you want somebody that is unique you want somebody different but the unique and the different people like the the ones that are really like exciting um they're not very stable and they're not great you know stable relationship partners so you end up disappointed so this time around, you're taking a different approach. You would rather have somebody who's a little bit more stable. 
Hence, you're kind of like restraining yourself or you're being guided to restrain yourself and not jump too fast at the first offer of love, okay? So while you might be very attracted to this person, I do feel it might be like somebody completely brand new or somebody a little bit younger than you that you're very just fascinated by. He or she exudes a really good colorful aura and um, you find them really irresistible and you're going to like take a step back and decide that, okay, no, it hasn't really worked out in my past, so I'm not going to, you know, take the same approach. I'm going to do something different, which is that I'm going to wait. So heed that inner voice, listen to your guidance um, or your guides, and try to take things extra slow, okay? Because I do feel that um, you might end up, you know, um, in the same, repeating the same pattern all over again if you're not careful. So be very, very careful about... Um, you know, think about all your exes. If they all have like the same traits, same characteristics, then it's probably you're you're probably not dating dating the right type. So it is important to expand your spectrum of um, who it is that you're looking for and who it is that you want to date. Because I have so many suitors coming through, and um, the only thing missing. Well, no, we have every suitor, every suitor of um, you know every element. Every element sign is in here. So we have air, fire, earth, and water. So we have every, the whole gamut. And um, it is really important for you to test it out if you want to, if you are socially dating. I do feel that um, keep things very light and keep things very um, unemotional because um, you're going to need that sense of objectivity in order to figure out what people are about and to figure out who's the best fit for you, okay? So even though you might be an Aquarius, you might have different sun and uh, moon, in, excuse me, rising and moon signs and different signs. So it's not going to apply to you, but it's really important to know, you know, really take some time to date and be objective enough to know who's the best fit for you. So among the other three signs, who's the best fit for you? And I do feel that by the end of this month, a lot of you will go ahead and, you know, go proceed with whoever it is that you feel is the best fit. And you're going to have a very, very happy love life. So it looks very favorable. So not only that, we do have the judgment card, which um, brings in a new beginning. So I do feel, you know, you're leaving the past behind in which you have like a string of unhealthy relationships. You're going forward and you're not really looking for, you know, um, long-term committed relationships. Even though, you know, if it presents itself down the line, you're going to be open to it. But you're going into this dating situation without an agenda, which is a really nice, breezy, and a very sophisticated way of entering relationships. Without strings attached, without agenda, without, high, without expectations. I wouldn't say high expectations because expectations... Are definitely very high okay you know what you want at this point and you're not going to settle for less and you are very very discriminate about who you let in or who you spend your time with because life honestly is too short you have now matured into a king and with a king there are responsibilities that you need to take care of like practical things that you have to take care of to sustain your lifestyle to sustain yourself such as you know your friends your family your uh, Leisure time is very limited, so at this point, you don't really want to swander free time with people of like low vibration or people who might be bad company. So you're letting that go, and you're kicking old habits, and as a result, you are entering relationships in a more mature, in a more detached, in a more objective manner, which, you know, bodes well for long-term committed relationships in general. And what's coming in as the very end is that you're going to get what you want, okay? This extensive screening process that you've set up to, um, in order to gauge other people and also in order to get other people to, um, um, you're not putting up with lip service. You want people to come through with tangible proof, with like, um, with concrete evidence rather than putting up with people who might talk big, but you know they don't really have anything to show for it. So it's a very discriminative um, 
but a very objective energy that is coming through for you. It's, I would say, like discriminating energy that is coming through for you. So I feel that it is very, very favorable. Um, a lot of you who might be, you know, ending the month pairing yourself up with a water sign, a lot of you, but um, whatever you decide to do, I do feel that as people, we all have, you know, emotional baggage. So even if this guy's got emotional baggage, I do feel that the time for that, um, it has a time and a place, I feel. So once he or she gets over that, they'll be in a better place and they might be a, a good potential candidate down the line. Um, I normally look at, you know, first and last cards just to see the transition through the month. But I also look at the middle, like the middle two cards, like the middle column, just to see uh, one of the, it could potentially be like um, an obstacle or something that, um, that will be a benefit for you. And I do sense in general, this is an obstacle. This is... Um, being tied to somebody, being tied to somebody, possibly an earth sign that you're not able to completely let go of, okay? So this is the only danger coming through, mainly because you have a lot of potential suitors here. So make room for other people. If this person cannot at this point or, you know, at any point in his or her life, give you what it is that you want, then seek a new beginning elsewhere with another person. So don't hold yourself back waiting and waiting for another person um, who doesn't really have their act together because I do feel that this person is uh, looking a little bit too much towards the past or they might promise you more things that they can't really deliver. And timing is everything and timing is not on your side when it comes to an earth sign at this moment. So move on with your life and you know um, Check out the other suitors because we have so many good people coming through. You have a lot of good signs coming through for you. And um, new beginnings. By the end of this month, there is going to be like a new relationship coming through. So I feel that it, it is very, very favorable for you on the love front, okay? So let's see money situation. I mean, all this dating, all this going out, I feel like it's going to drain you somewhat. So let's just see the financial situation. Okay, well, I have two cards. They're both fives, so just be a little bit careful with spending, okay? Um, five of Pentacles and Five of Swords. Now, it's funny because um, you're an air sign and the Pentacles is the earth sign. So there's going to be a little bit of a financial conflict, I guess, on the work front if you are dealing with an earth sign on the work front. Money is going to be slow in coming, and also there's some... There's some like um, shifty energy regarding the work situation in which you're, I do feel a lot of you are, are pretty good workers. You have really good work ethics and you do your work very well. And if you're in an environment where you feel um, intellectually stimulated, then you're going to be just fine. But I do feel like there's a, a sense of distraction on the work front in which, you know, your, your mind is like not on the game. So just concentrate and do a good job you know with your work situation don't be distracted by other things and also um, keep deadlines in mind on the work front don't procrastinate and don't get things done like at the very last minute because the quality is going to suffer so there's an element of an earth figure in your work environment and he or she seems like they're dealing with a lot of things so they might be slow in terms of payment they might be, there might be like um, negotiations between you and them in terms of payment. And I've mentioned this even for last month, a lot of the residual energy is coming through. So just, you know, focus on your work when you're at work and um, wait, wait, you have to wait it out. I do feel this is a card of a swift victory, but it's also a card of conflict. So there's an element of like... Um, there are other people he needs, he or she needs to pay in order for the he or him or her to pay you. Okay, so just be careful about that. Money is slow in coming, so don't overexert yourself. Don't go, you know, don't blow through your savings going out out on dates, um, and just take care of yourself. And overall, it is a really really good uh, month in general in terms of romantic prospects, love, and 
finding that person, finding out who it is that you want to be with, okay? So it looks very favorable, Aquarius. 